All right, everyone. It is me, Jensen Chan. Gotta make sure I drink my water. So I guess we're starting a little, well, a little bit later than I would like. But you know, I woke up around nine thirty ish. Right. I wound up. Um, I mean, I was mostly successful yesterday in really under eating. Right. So I must have burned away an extra like I don't know. Five to six hundred calories, but I did wind up camping a little bit and just eating like a small one fifty calorie whole grain snack before going to bed. So obviously that had a <laughs> that had an impact on my ability to sleep. But nonetheless, you know I still uh, slept quite well. So even though I only got like well, I, if I fall asleep around one forty a.m. and then I didn't, I mean I did wake up like around eight. So actually, yeah, I still got around eight to eight and a half hours of good sleep huh well, i actually yeah i got more sleep than i anticipated actually yeah so i actually still got a decent night's rest and yeah i finally managed to de-stress a little bit and play some video games so um yeah that's good you know i still find myself going back and playing tarkov but it's like ugh, god i really just wish there was you know a little bit less hardcore pvp but that's obviously not the way the game is designed so hopefully um i will uh fulfill that destiny so anyway i spent time last night as well and this morning looking up the coronavirus stuff so uh, oh i guess before we start so here is a nice little twitter poll uh you know i'm too oh my god all right i'm too i'm too lazy to go to my thing so i'm just gonna go this way let's see do you have anything new so this guy that teaches me, Hitman got me a credential smear good journalist, national conservative, con Inc. didn't listen, that's revealing, yeah. I mean, conservative Inc., I mean, it's all controlled opposition, so. Free speech is essential, and so far I will use it to challenge status quo. CPAC must have control the narrative so that regular people aren't exposed to the true right and nationalist propositions. Yes. Uh, yes, we are the true right. Uh, let's see. The fake right. Uh, yes. Yeah, this was actually pretty good. Oh, I also spent time last night looking at the speech. It was only like a 20, 21 minute speech because they had like a lot of guest speakers there. But obviously the only person I cared to listen to was Nick Fuentes. I didn't really give a shit about Gavin McGinnis or whatever, so. It's actually kind of interesting, right? Um, fake right Ali Alexander has contacts with all these people, and now everyone's fracturing, doing their own thing. So I'm guessing he must be pretty isolated now, which he does deserve because he really was being a stupid fucking low impulse control, ass, low IQ asshole. So, you know, it's I still find myself occasionally still getting mad at him, right? So, uh, cause I just don't like it when people like are real snakes and then I personally meet them and then it turns out they actually use all that fame and money to fuck us up the ass without our consent. So, you know, um, you know, it's, it's, it's really, it's, it's really bad what he's doing. Oh, and then on top of that, he like tells people they're going to go to hell and he preaches Christianity and quotes the Bible. Like that makes it even worse. So, you know. <clears throat> but at any rate, you know, uh, eventually, you know, I'll have my own thing. You know, I'll be all, obviously, I won't be that, or at least I hope not, which is why I have to still be careful about getting angry or hateful or whatever, right? And just stamp it out because, again, like Jesse Lee Peterson says, uh, you will become what you hate. So I want to make sure that doesn't ever happen. Uh, a man has for sure to see. Uh, so clearly, Taylor Swift is projecting she really wants a man, but she can't uh, have one. Uh, and that's entirely her own fault as well. And yeah, Pokemon Day. Yes. All right. Anyway. Uh, oh, yeah. Michelle Malkin. I mean, I already mentioned this yesterday, but Michelle Malkin is also, um, you know, poofed from CPAC. And so is Ann Coulter. So hopefully, Ann Coulter eventually realizes, you know what? Fuck it. I'm just going to go full uh, Wignat mode, right? Just throw my hat in, right? You know? Um, but, you know, she wants to still maintain her contacts with everybody. I mean, she did speak... What was the... Oh, it was a TPUSA event, right? The, 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 the thing that Dick Fuentes uh, confronted Ben Shapiro with, and didn't, but it was really just like, 
hey, you know, let's debate ben, Benny Shapiro. You know, we're face to face, man to man, right? And Shapiro wouldn't even look at us. He was just like, you, you know, he was, it was like such a cowardly little cuck. You know, I can't say the words I really want to say. Anyway, this is definitely going to be the uh, thumbnail. <laughs> Uh, this is definitely going to be the thumbnail. Uh, actually, you know what? Uh, open image, a new tab. Yes. Oh, this is really large. Um, shoot. All right, you know what? Maybe I can just do like this. All right. Uh, no. God, it's just too big. Because I have, because I actually upload as my computer product. I still want my camera and my icon stuff there. All right. Um, okay, I know, I know what's going on. All right, there we go. There we go. So yeah, the CDC actually released this hilarious picture. All right, if you're gonna wear a face mask, there's facial hair you cannot have, and there's actually like different styles. You got walrus, you got the painter's brush, you got Chevron, Zorro, or the villain, or a Fu Manchu. <laughs> they give you an Englishman if you want. <laughs> oh, there's even something called a French fork. So uh, yeah, I just I just called it like a choose your own adventure, choose your own hero. I couldn't say race because I don't want to you know possibly risk any chance of deplatforming, right? But choose your own race class slash class skill system for coronavirus. <laughs> you know, I think mean, since everyone's actually getting kind of concerned, you know, it could you know lighten up the mood. You know, I'm kind of hoping because I'm actually going to Target today to stock up on groceries. Right, it might be a good time to do that. All right. And, uh, yeah, I mean, I'm kind of hoping, I mean, they usually have a lot, but now that the fear level is actually starting to increase quite a bit, you know, it's, uh, I don't know, we'll have to see, all right? Because the last time I did go, uh, eight, nine days ago, maybe, nah, it's a little, yeah, something like that, right? Some things were actually out, right? But, I mean, we'll see. I mean, it's New York City, so they you know they have to, like, constantly resupply the city uh, on an hourly basis, essentially. Just curious, how worried about you about the coronavirus? I did this poll last night, of course, because I'm shadow banned and not famous enough. This is not reaching as much as I'd like. But nonetheless, 34 people voted. Uh, so interesting enough. Actually, let's make sure we refresh this, actually. Um, okay, so 44.1% are concerned and I am prepared. Uh, they're not really worried, 38.2, and then 17.6% are still uh, trying to figure it out. So that's pretty big. That's pretty big. Uh, family member sent me a text message last night as well and actually said that mom actually is watching too much fake news as she honestly believes that the coronavirus was a plot from America uh, to like wipe us out. Now that is actually a very real possibility, but I think it's more so with SARS rather than today, right? Because I still think, because I, because for the way it does look, I really do think it was just uh, the Wuhan bio lab screwed up somewhere. It broke containment when it obviously should not have. And then, you know, now we have coronavirus. So, and they could, they're obviously not going to say that or admit that, right, ever. So, you know, what are they going to do? Well, convenient scapegoat, right? Bat and wolf soup or whatever the hell crazy shit they were eating over there. Right? They kill two birds with one stone. They hide the truth. They, as in the Chinese government, they hide the truth of the true origin and they get rid of a negative social behavior that they don't want people doing in China. Because remember, us Chinese people, by genetic nature, we are shameless, right? We have no shame. So uh, that's usually a good thing, but sometimes it can do bad things, right? And I think uh, eating bat suit and taking selfie pictures, because they're actually out there on the internet, of people enjoying bat and wolf and crocodile soup i'm like all right man it's like okay <laughs> okay it's like yeah that's that's not good all right you know and yes if i were in charge of america if i found out anyone doing that shit even if they were chinese or asian or whatever right and i don't care if they're american or illegal or whatever i am going to make it illegal executive order that shit and possibly put you in a mental hospital i don't really, I don't really care what people will think of me if I do something like that, you're no one is going to be eating that shit, right? Unless you are literally starving and you literally had nothing else to eat, and then either eat the bat or die. Then in that case, yes, it's an extreme circumstance. But uh, I think it's already illegal in America anyway, right? I mean, like if you can't just kill a dog and then cook it, right? I mean, that'd be considered animal abuse, 
uh, at least I hope it's considered animal abuse here in America. And then, of course, you're uh, 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 justly punished for such a cruel thing. So anyway, uh, I mean, again, there's not much news because, again, it's all coronavirus at this point. So there's really not much to cover. But uh, I did look at the brief headlines, so we'll go over it quick. And plus, yeah, I actually do want to get to Target before, uh, you know, I, I imagine it's already been looted, looted and pillaged. So, you know, i got to buy whatever I can. Uh, and I and I get to and I finally have my little push cart, all right? Because now uh, in a couple of days we can't we can't use plastic bags anymore. So now I got I have my dainty little uh, carry uh, reusable bag that makes me look like you know a gay man when I'm not really not. And you know I, I just I, now I really truly realize and understand. Yeah, it's like. You know, we really do have to get involved in politics, but it requires so much effort and energy and money, and you need, it needs constant amounts of it. It's like it's just it's, it's insane. I, I definitely will look into technology and automation, robotics, so we can help automate this shit, right? And, and then we will rule forever. Um, but I mean, well, maybe, right? If I cannot convince conservatives to be, you know, more empathetic, then we will uh, repeat this cycle of left versus right forever. So uh, yeah. And I don't want that anymore. Anyway, Bitcoin searches for this week are 10, but don't be surprised if this thing just tanks. Like right now, everyone is actually starting to get scared. And there's actually more reason to be concerned and possibly scared. Um, because now you're dealing with life and death. So people, like, people show their true colors when they know, okay, you know what? I know I don't want it. Like, I don't want to say these racist things or bigoted things, or and you shouldn't still. But it's like, you know what? I don't want to die from coronavirus, so I will do what it takes. So basically, everybody is forced to tell the truth now and to look at things from a truthful perspective. Even the Democrats are starting to seize on this opportunity. Uh, like Elizabeth Warren took the high ground and said, this is why we need to uh, bring manufacturing back home to America and not outsource to China, because that's actually a big thing. This is supposed to be Trump's territory, but... You know, he got up on the thing yesterday and just simply bitched and complained about uh, the stock market going down. Everyone should stay calm, and uh, he's the greatest man on earth. It's like what's like, it's like it's like so annoying. It's so annoying, right? It's like, uh, and Mike Cernovich also correctly pointed out this could be Trump's cur uh, Hurricane Katrina, right? Just like George Bush got uh, like handled Hurricane Hurricane Katrina like poorly, right? Now. George could kind of get away with it because it mostly affected like black people. So and, and at the time, people just didn't really give a shit about black people, right? Because of you know uh, racism or whatever. Uh, I know Jesse Lee Peterson doesn't like says that doesn't exist, but I don't know what other term to use. But he is right though. We should probably stop using the terms of the globalists. But basically, just people just didn't like black people, so that's why nobody gave a shit. But this one's different. This affects everybody. And on top of that. I mean, people don't hate Chinese people the way people hate black people, right? So, you know, it's a very entirely different context if you want to go the racial angle, right? But it doesn't matter because now this shit's just going up all over the place, right? We got one new case um, in California, right? Their hospital is at UC Davis Medical Center. And here, here in New York City, you know, not too far to the east in Nassau County in Long Island, you know, we got 83 people under quarantine, the vast majority of which uh, are cooperating. But some people are, say, are are like, you know, fuck you, I ain't going to do a quarantine. Probably because they have to go to work and stuff. Um, and they said, we have a plan in place in case, you know, it gets really bad and they still refuse to cooperate, but we have not yet, yet to use it. So either they're going to force them or they might actually just pull out a gun and just like shoot them in the leg or something. Uh, they might even decide to try to kill the person, which is extreme. But, uh, yeah, but like they said, they didn't have to, like, there was, it was obviously vague, but I think we can kind of infer what they're referring to. And it is kind of mean, but, I mean, I, I kind of understand it, too. Like, you got bills to pay, long lines very expensive, and you don't go to work. I mean, yeah. But that's the other thing, that, too, that I find annoying. A lot of people are, like, you know, bitching about how the stocks are going down. And that's actually going to be the focus of this video. It's like... Like, dude, people could die and you're complaining about the fucking stock market. Oh, boo-hoo, your shit's going down. Well, welcome to my world, all right? You know, like, my shit went down a lot, too, right? You know, uh, speaking of which, you know, Litecoin's at, like, what, 62.79? It was about to break, what, 90, 94, or whatever, I don't even remember, right? I feel this is a buying opportunity, so. 
you know, there's always a silver lining, right? Glass half empty, glass half full. So, you know, uh, you know, things were looking uh, like, oh, I missed the boat. Well, here's the well, the boat's coming back, right? That's Black Swan events is like a perfect, uh, perfect time to buy shit, even though we probably know that's going to continue to go down. At least until we get a handle on, like, if if the 83 people that are quarantined in Long Island here in New York, New York State, or essentially New York City, because it's only like a 30-minute train ride on the LIRR to the east, right, in my case, right, because I'm in Brooklyn, right? You know, if they're actually infected with the COVID-19, the COVID, uh, COVID uh, yeah, COVID-19 coronavirus shit, yeah, that's actually going to cause a large, that, I would actually say that would probably cause... This poll, this little shitty poll that I have going on to go from whatever this is to like 95%, all right? You know, so, uh, in fact, I would consider probably just start telling my family, you know what? Uh, I think we just need to go to Florida, right? We're not infected now. Let's make sure we stay that way and go to Florida, right? I, I mean, I just like, it's like, God, <laughs> like, what are we going to do? So anyway, big, uh, uh, so 24 hour volume is at 192.6 billion. So everyone, everyone's just dumping. Everyone's just getting scared. But some, but a lot of people also recognize it's a buying opportunity as well. So it's going to go down, but it could also flatline as people buy more and more shit. So we'll have to see. Bitcoin dominance is at 63.9%. Uh, Bitcoin itself is at 88.66. So you can see like it nose dives. Now it's flatlining a little bit. Um, Litecoin's at 62.79, like I said, same thing. Uh, yeah, because before I went to bed last night, this shit was all red. Like, we're talking 5 to 15% or even more uh, negative drops. So, um, it's like what happened yesterday, right? It was a dead cat bounce, because I think it's down today. Yeah, it's down pretty bad. So, uh, this could be another dead cat bounce, too, because crypto was already ahead of the curve. It was just already crashing. Uh, now, now it's just getting their dead cat bounce. Uh, things could turn around, but I'm not. I, I don't. I don't actually think so. That's why I'm actually just heavily buying now, even though I know that there's probably it's. I would probably say seventy five percent chance. Me personally, if not higher, that this everything's going to keep going down. Um, but again, we'll have to see because we have to see what's going to happen with the uh, new uh, coronavirus cases going on in America. So, uh, because they're under quarantine and we're waiting on the test results. So it's just a matter of wait and see. Uh, Dogcoin is getting, yeah, it's doing okay too. It's at 291.5 million market cap. It's also going down as well, but it's flatlining upwards a bit. Uh, Steam, I've been buying a lot of Steam, 17.16 cents. So it's actually recovering a bit. So, uh, I mean, it's right now it's, uh, crypto is too crappy for me to, uh, just sell for fiat, even though I need cash. So now I'm just building up my asset column again. So I'm actually going into Steam cryptocurrency. I'm really liking dlease.io. So, you know, I might as well get my 12 to 15% APR uh, before compounding. Dow drops 700, but holy shit. Wow. The Dow is, yeah, everything's getting killed out here. Um, let's see. Oh, yeah, we, we're going to have that nice little picture there. Uh... What's the price of MMRL? Because I still have, I still have, oh, wow. This thing is getting killed. Yeah, because I thought about buying MMRL yesterday. I was like, you know what, it's $14.50. Bucks. Ah, it's, too, it's too much. Now it's starting to actually look pretty good. So, because I haven't spent my dividend income yet. Because again, I practice what I preach. I just do nothing. When it comes to investing, at, at the least, the best option is to do nothing. Even in real life, it's kind of like the same thing too. Like if you're in a physical fight, or you might be in a situation where you could get into a physical fight, de-escalate, try to get away. And I know it's kind of hard, especially for us men, because of the macho thing. I'm still trying to think of, about it too. You know, it's like, but I mean, I can't think. I probably can't think clearly until I forgive my mom and dad, which won't come until later this year. So you know, but you'll have to you'll have to wait till around Thanksgiving, and then you know, uh, you know, uh, you know, we'll we'll go from there. So anyway, MMRL is down to twelve dollars and seventy four cents. So this is looking pretty good. I think I might. Uh, see, the thing is, if I figure things are gonna continue to slide, I definitely want to wait because if I could pick this up for even ten dollars, yeah, that'd be pretty good. You know, basically, you know, this thing pays like. Uh, 
how much per share like four or five dollars a, a sh per share every year um let's see uh, man we're gonna have to go to the ubs website ubs mmrl uh okay see i practice what i preach this is how you actually make your real money uh also beyond crypto because you don't want everything because you want to eventually diversify in my case i definitely have to diversify because i've got cash plus it's nice to, again it's nice to have redundancies because in real life we did not have redundancies in our well no that's somewhat unfair we don't have enough redundancies in the world manufacturing infrastructure that's why if china goes down we all get fucked in the ass without our consent because you know we outsource too much shit to china which was done on purpose by the very same people who are now complaining against uh, about it because you know, again they're all evil people and it's the global establishment blah 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 but you know i have redundancies right that's why you know i, I say the same thing you're with your password your cryptocurrency you have to have redundancies did you back up your wallet that that file did you email it to yourself did you create a paper seat do you have a password do you have it in like your bank uh safety deposit box bank right you know do you have multiple redundancies and backups right in our word for redundancy is a backup i like the word redundancy because it implies that you have to be active about it right and this is why so you know because that's why i'm not really worried because i have my shit covered right the only thing is i don't have enough food but i also know it doesn't matter because if it really if shit really hits the fan a the government will give us food eventually and then B, I'm overweight anyway. I've, I I can survive for tw like I got twenty to thirty pounds of body fat. I'm actually trying to lose weight, so you know I can I can get by for a while because I'll have, I'll definitely have access to water, so it's not that big of a deal, right? Because that's the more important thing. Because you can go without food or l less food for a long time, but if you but if you don't get enough water, you can die in three days from dehydration. So speaking of dehydration, I'm just starting to get really thirsty. Yeah, so 2018, the dividends were 319. 2019 was shitty at $2.73. And then this year, hmm. so this year will probably be the same thing. So $2. So basically, you have 20. So if this thing tanks, to, if the MMRL tanks to uh, $10 and pays out uh, $2, say $3, just make it easy. Say it pays out $3, I have a 30% dividend from MM, MRL. <laughs> Yeah, so yeah, I'm definitely I'm definitely gonna buy. I just don't know if I'm gonna buy today or if I want to take a g little gamble and then wait until tomorrow and hope the markets tank again. I actually think there's a very real possibility it will like uh, thing magic. But if I'm wrong and everybody tests uh, negative for coronavirus, especially here in Long Island, which is what we ultimately want, then I made the wrong move. So it, it's it's a t it's a tough one. It's a tough one. Uh, I'll have to think about it. Stocks hit by ras rising pandemic worries. Dow is now down 900 points. Uh, yeah, so the, so the markets are extremely volatile. These, these markets are going up and down hundreds of points uh, that this thing cannot even keep up. So uh, yeah, Steven Seagal is fined by the SEC for his shitty ICO uh, knockoff. So I think that's pretty funny. I still like Steven Seagal. He's a, he's a true hardcore right wing guy, but um, you know. His time has passed, and you know now he's just trying to live his life. So, but good, but kudos to him though. Uh, oh, that's also another reason why you still want to keep an open mind, so you don't uh, run into these kinds of problems, right? You know, uh, you need options in life, you know, because that's why you also have to have redundancies. It, it's all a nice holistic system; they all work together. So anyway, the Dow's down 621, but apparently it was down at 1.900. Uh, Nasdaq's down. Uh, 2.73 percent yeah so this this is a complete bloodbath like total bloodbath total bloodbath I think we got some scam ads here too so make sure you ignore that um so people are still propping up their economies people are getting scared uh if, falling knife bit oh my god Tecti technical analysis is so stupid Right tomorrow, tomorrow they're gonna to create the coronavirus pattern in, in Bitcoin trading. Right, I, I bet you there's already a bunch of scammers already pull, uh, putting together their shitty scam website and pulling putting out ads for it already. Oh God, 
Big guys crash now. What big did he? Did he? Did he? Uh, it's the same crap from yesterday, essentially. Um, Bitcoin microtransactions could change the future of gaming. Yes, that's what I'm actually going to be implementing. Uh, hopefully, uh, with my game. Uh, da -da -da -da. Okay, so. Uh, yes, it's definitely going to be a game changer, but you know the software is going to be kind of uh, tough. But hopefully, I'll be able to know enough to program it. So uh, we'll have to see. So anyway, if you like what you saw, read or heard, hit the like button, the follow button, or subscribe button from wherever you're watching this from, or on my YouTube's at youtube.com forward slash JMC Radio uh, on YouTube. Smash that subscribe button on the right hand side of this page, and then uh, yeah, let's try to grow this channel. All right, so obviously. Excuse me. I am done for the day. Uh, gonna try to stock up on um, uh, uh, groceries. In fact, I'll probably need to buy more than I normally would because, again, coronavirus stuff. So uh, I want to make sure I, uh, you know, have extra food and stuff. Uh, especially since now I have my push cart, so I can jam a lot more shit, right, and not have to carry it, right? In fact, no, I don't feel like carrying the bag, so. Because uh, it is pretty heavy. Um, I'm also considering maybe reducing my workout routine to just every other day. So on average, it comes out to three and a half times a week instead of five times a week. Um, I don't know. But I kind of like the fact that I am burning more energy too. And like, you know, I also get more muscle gain if I work out five days a week instead of three and a half. Uh, I don't know. But I, I guess we'll see. Anyway, uh, I'll see you all in tomorrow's video. Uh, hopefully none of us get catch coronavirus because it's now actually starting to accelerate uh, justif uh, as justified now. So, uh, But, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll be fine. And if you happen to be that paranoid, uh, I would recommend finding Jesus Christ and praying to God and start believing in him. So, uh, yeah, that, that's also another reason why I'm pretty calm, too. Like, you know, um, I didn't show it, but if you do a search on Google or whatever, right, for coronavirus, some some news article shows people with their masks also praying in a church. <laughs> so uh, I would recommend you follow suit, all right? So anyway, uh, see you all tomorrow's video. Thanks for watching. I'm going to go stock up with supplies and, yeah, other stuff. So, yep. Yeah. Just a chant. JFC coin, 404 coin. I fully expect things, uh, at least stock market wise and market equities wise, to just completely tank. Um, so I'm trying to make a decision if I want to buy more MMRL now and lock in the discount on it or uh, possibly wait. So I don't know. I'll, I'll be able to make my decision like later on in the day because I, um, I don't know. I don't know. But either way, uh, choose your own hero. Uh, and uh, yeah, via the CDC's uh, facial hair thing. And then uh, good luck to everyone. <laughs>